I am Anil Kumar. In this video, I am sharing with you a test question on derivative of composite functions. The question here is, if y equals to f of square root of x square plus 9 and f dash 5 equals to minus 2, find dy dx when x equals to 4. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we'll begin with the derivative of composite functions. If I say y is equals to f of g of x, in that case, what is derivative of y dy dx will be equal to f dash of g of x times the derivative of inside function. Okay, so that is the rule. We'll apply this rule and get our answer. So dy dx in our case would be what? We can write dy dx is equal to derivative of this function which is f dash of square root of x square plus 9 times derivative of inside function which is you can write d dx of square root of x square plus 9. Right? Now, we know what the derivative of x squared plus 9 is. Let's do that first. So we get dy dx equals to f dash of square root of x squared plus 9. Derivative of this function is 1 over 2. That is half of this, right? Square root of x squared plus 9 times the derivative of inside function, which is 2x. So this can be simplified and you get this expression. So you get dy dx equals to f prime square root of x square plus 9 times x over square root of x square plus 9. Now what do we need to find? Well, we need to find dy dx at x equals to 4, right? So we get dy dx at x equals to 4 should be equal to f prime of square root of 4 square plus 9 times, we'll replace this by 4, right? So we get 4 over square root of 4 square plus 9. So that gives you f prime of 4 square is 16, 16 plus 9, 25 square root is 5 times 4 over 5. Correct? Now, what is the derivative? This is given to us that derivative of the function at 5 is basically equal to minus 2. So we'll replace this by minus 2, correct? So we get minus 2 times 4 over 5, right? So that gives you minus 8 over 5, which is minus 16 over 10, right? You can multiply by 2 or minus 1.6, correct? So the correct option is option C which is minus 1.6. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.